Now first there was Monday and now it's already Thursday. My point is the year moves and time waits for no one, doesn't it? It definitely doesn't wait for <laughs> anyone. Now, how is it going for you so far? Are there prospects? Now is it looking good? Now the truth is the key is to maintain a positive energy with everything you do. Absolutely. And to give us that energy we have with us our other host, but of course, Mr. Mike and MM. How are you guys doing? Um, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what's going on? What's going on? I was Might surprised well that the, the cover doesn't come off. I don't understand. Like, I'm not you. I was surprised the cover doesn't don't come off. say hello off. to your, you know, to people watching at home. <laughs> don't be rude. Mike, I can see you not giving me attention. How are you, you doing? Are how are you doing, Tokmai? How are you doing? <laughs> no on my side. Mike, back. I'm doing so well, brother. What? What did you say? Your brother, Mike. My yeah. brother, yeah. Mike. He's just mm. been we are all, we are, all, we are <laughs> all pencil brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Very true. It's all good as usual. We have come as always with our dose of positivity and of course fun. We like nothing better than to start your mornings here with us. Now, but the cherry on the top of the cake is knowing that we can look forward to having you join us this beautiful day. Absolutely. Now, for the next one hour and 45 minutes, this is what we're going to be doing. You know how we like to, uh, you know, help you start the morning. You count your hours with us all the way up until it's like time to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. We expect that you guys stay right there and enjoy every single thing we have planned. My name is Mazino Appeal. And I am Tokwe Olonio. Now, guess what? You can stream this show live at tvccommunications.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Oh, yes. And by the way, don't forget, we have a topic out there already on social media. So get up on it and leave a comment. Comment on there, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC, like Tokwe has said. Yeah. And you can be part of the show as we go all the way up until 9 a.m. Remember, tag us. So let's let you know what's coming up today on a Thursday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah, so I like to call it Artsy Thursday for an exhibition of um, his collection of artworks from the very talented Awucha Achulike. And, of course, coming up right after, Emetu Chukwemeka, or rather Chukwemeka, a.k.a. Cosmic McDuffis, the CEO of McVessity Group, that's a lot, Evid uh, Philanthropist, and also the CEO of our book of the week, Get Pregnant Before Marriage, Ooh, a book that intends to put real meaning to a real pregnancy. And next up, we have for music performance, Afro-pop singer Adeyemi Francis, also known as Small Vane, will be coming up later on the show to take us into the Thursday mood. Already looks looking like forward. Hello, guys. It's morning. a Thursday. MM, you are looking all glittery this morning. Wow. That's Don't go close to the sun. Um, I feel I'm, like so, I'm, I'm confused. Is that a compliment? Or it is a very good question. <laughs> How about see me my dark shades on like I can see you? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so you it was a compliment you. in any case. Thank you very much. How yes. are you doing? I'm all right. It's the first well. Thursday of the year, right? Yes, yes it is. is it? Yeah, because the first, first day was a Friday. Friday. Oh, it was Friday, yeah. Friday, Friday. 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 So yeah. first throwback. And uh, over the night, uh, you you guys gave us enough drama. Hmm. Which one? I was watching America season ten. Were you watching the same thing? <laughs> this oh, one is like... about to eleven. I know. Yeah, she needs it's, to catch it's already up. eleven. Okay, yeah, I'll catch it's up. Now. Eleven this morning. Oh, America is serious. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, with so, the drama yeah, at the capital. With the, with yeah. the drama, it was. Um, so I, I was supposed to be chilling out, watching like I had like three or four matches, uh -huh. interesting matches at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I had two of my sister, one on the TV, and I was about getting one on the phone. Ah. And then I started seeing, you know, tweets and reports find out. I tuned into, of course, um, the popular international media organization. But I went back, I like, man, I don't come back to myself. So <laughs> last, last year. So, but, you know, it, it's America that the last time this happened was in 1812. Um, uh, that first time it ever happened when the capital was bombed and it was burned. But this is, um, this is, uh, this is more than just a protest. It's, yeah. it's like an insurrection. Did you see the guys inside of the uh, capital the itself? Capital, yeah. mm. And the arguments that <laughs> if it was another race, it could be something else. Yeah. Mm. But, it was... um, yeah. You know, it, it, the, uh, America has uh, pride. The pride themselves in being the beacon of democracy yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you know some uh, the what I loved most was the Republican majority leader uh, Mitch McConnell who denounced this and look it, it, there's something he said, said I didn't hope for Biden to win mm -hmm. I didn't want Biden to win I worked against Biden not win but he is the, the president. president elect mm -hmm. and so and Kamala Harris will be sworn in on the 20th well, it was just so cool, like we're just gonna, you know, university, you can still, you know, do the right. We're just going to yeah. wait for the 20th and hope for everything positive. But in any case, we'll uh, keep your breast, I guess. Um, let's do the weather and mm -hmm. onto some news for after, and then the show goes on even after.
Well, all righty then. So let's get to the news and tell you what's happening here in Nigeria, Edo State, to be exact. Now we start the news with security matters in Edo State, where one of the prisoners who escaped from the White House uh, prison yard in the aftermath of last year's NSARS protests has been arrested in Ogun State. Now, Obehi Frank Obe was arrested following an information received by policemen at Agbadu Divisional Headquarters that a middle-aged man was seen at uh, Angolis area of Agbadu and that his look and conduct is suspicious, hence his arrest. He confessed to detectives that he was an inmate of a White House prison in Edo State and that he was set free by hoodlums who attacked the prison yard. The Commissioner of Police in Ogun State, Edward Adjogun has, however, directed that the suspect be transferred to the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department for further profiling. And now on to Ondo State, where unknown gunmen have kidnapped a couple uh, at Uso Community in our local government area of Ondo State. The couple who were traveling along the route were stopped and abducted by the gunmen suspected to be kidnappers. The couple were traveling with their three children when the hoodlums stopped them and whisked the couple away, leaving the three children behind. Spokesperson of the State Police Command, Mr. T. Leo Ikuro, said men from the State Police Command had been com uh, come in the area to ensure the release of the couple. He confirmed that the couple were abducted on Tuesday while their abductors left their children behind. And these are images from the United States where thousands of protesters have breached. Now, of course, those might seem familiar since last night. Those were images from the United States where thousands of protesters have breached America's Capitol building, forcing the Congress to break affirmation of the November presidential election results. Now, congressmen and women have been evacuated from the building after throngs of protesters pushed past the police barricade to gain entrance into the building where debate on the disputed state of Arizona election began moments earlier. As the crowd grew outside, tension across the country went with it. Uh, Mayor of Washington, D.C., Mural Bowser, uh, was imposed, the city has imposed a citywide curfew from 6 p.m., saying no one will be allowed outside the city. Security operators are having a tough time containing what is becoming a huge concern. Reports of shooting and smashing of windows have been recorded, but we cannot confirm at the moment if there have been any casualties or serious injuries. And President Trump has uh, tweeted, uh, uh, President Donald Trump had decreed, uh, described his loss of the election as a function of electoral fraud and vote manipulation. Um, yesterday, he blamed Vice President Mike Pence for refusing to do his bidding by rejecting the victory of Joe Biden in the poll. The latest tweet from the president, Mr. Trump, did not criticize the protest, but urged protesters to remain peaceful. Now, today's affirmation of the election, which has been disrupted by the protest, was Mr. Trump's last chance of forcing a cancellation of the exercise that brought, a Democrats, uh, in, that brought in Democrats Joe Biden as president-elect. Uh, coming days will be crucial in determining what next before the inauguration of a new president in two weeks' time. Oh, welcome back. And of course, at this time of morning, every single morning, it's time that we do the headlines from the dailies, let you know what you could find when you pick up one of these. And already today, we're going to start from the Guardian newspaper. But of course, you know, it's a Thursday, January 7th, 2020, and our first big headline from the Guardian, Oxygen Crisis Hits Nigeria's 19 Response uh, Scheme. Um, UNTH, Luth Grapple with Storage, Virus More Vicious Than Ever, Say Luth As They Warn. Uh, we're running out of resources, but it cries out, all patients now oxygen dependent. He says, at the top of the Guardian, these long years today, I must take over the U.S. Senate, and I won't negotiate with bandits, Niger State Governor vows. And we adjusted, uh, we adjusted, didn't increase electricity tariffs, say NERC, and FG moves VAT from airfares, aviation services, 
And that's it on The Guardian newspaper. We now move to the New Telegraph this morning. And on The New Telegraph, new COVID-19 strain ravages Nigeria, claims many lives. Experts urge Nigerians to shun parties, religious gatherings. Samuelu first over spike, uh, rather threats over spike, as cases hit 32,720 in Lagos. Now that is alarming. Lawyers to judiciary embrace virtual proceedings, please. At the bottom of the New Telegraph, governor's raises, or governor raises the alarm over foreign bandits' invasion. Bello, Niger village uh, heads have been compromised. Now we move on to our next paper this morning, and that will be the Nation newspaper. The big headline on that one, governor, bandits in north recruited from Mali and Sudan. And at the very top, another court contradicts judgment on Izeyamu and how COVID-19 second wave is killing people by a Luth CMD. NACCIMA, MAN, tariff hike timing wrong, uh, say that this goes as they justify the action. And at the very bottom of uh, the nation, um, I faked my kidnapped to uh, my kidnapped to extort my dad. Uh, suspect confesses. This is another Unilag, uh, as just as another Unilag um, professor dies, as we read from news yesterday. We move on now to the Vanguard newspaper for a Thursday here, and we have this as the first big headline: Cash woes, FGI's dormant accounts, unclaimed dividends. Plenty of talk about this from yesterday over the social media regarding dormant or inactive accounts, which is which. But you might find plenty of information inside of Vanguard on page 5 on this one today. And once again, COVID-19 at Luth worries over increasing severe cases. And at the very top of the Vanguard newspaper, again, Bishop Kuka decries bad governance. And Ohane's election, Okuku drags Modu to court. NCC allays fears of mass disconnection. 15,000 naira to correct NIN date of birth say NIMC official. Well, that's as much as we can take for the headlines this morning for a Thursday here. Do stay tuned because we have some very interesting daily vulnerables for you coming up. Well, that's the daily vulnerables for you there every mm -hmm. single day. Something to look forward to as we begin the show here on Wake Up Nigeria. So, guys, um, yeah. what are your rules on phone calls or phone etiquette? Let's just put it so. I don't know. Guys have a very, very light one, but ladies, I assume, would have something much more strange. I'm saying this because... <laughs> I got a call two days ago mm -hmm. at about 11 o'clock just to say hi. I'm a married man, first of all, and this is from a lady. So it, it caused a bit of a... <coughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> so it got me thinking about rules and whether as Nigerians we actually have a set, uh, um, a set of rules for when it comes to calls, mm -hmm. video chatting, and all of that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Do you have any specific ones? I'm sure anyone has. <laughs> you have an e-folder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, well... Because I'm not in a position to enlighten people <laughs> on phone etiquette, mm -hmm. I put off my phone. Oh, sorry. I actually put on my dis, dis, do not disturb, do not disturb okay. notification okay. once it's after 7 p.m. 7? Yes. 7? Wow. Yes, after 7 p.m. Okay. So if you're trying to reach me at that send time, mm -hmm. you send a text. Ah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, there's one mm -hmm. thing about text. Because once I get home, I just put my phone somewhere. I don't even pay attention so it's to like it. it's family time. Exactly. So it's family time for me. I really mm -hmm. want to spend time with the kids as much as I can because I also need to get to bed on time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm very, very strict. I'm very, very strict with my time. That, yeah. So no, no, normally I would say, um, so people, people always come up with that stuff that what if an emergency comes up yeah. mm -hmm. and something like that. So um, it's there. But because of every you see, it's an issue that the phone, uh, the phone etiquette has become an issue because everything is tied to the phone. I mean, for kind of loud, if it's not, I mean, you, you have houses where your whole house is actually controlled by your phone. Oh, yeah. And you have Alexa or Siri or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big man, big one. <laughs> so, you know, so everything, everything is around the phone. I mean, your banking, I mean, it gets to a point whereby you can even control the chimney, the fireplace with your phone. So it's always around you. So someone will say, you guys, keep your phone on side, you're old school, okay? But I, I would want to say that, yes, you should always have a time when you can move yourself away from the distraction and all of that. And I, normally, generally, I prefer messaging over call. You're a single man. Who's allowed generally. to video text you, uh, video call you? Video call? Why? It, it depends. Would you just video call somebody? Like, so, I don't like so it depends. If you have that kind of a relationship with someone. 
can just yeah. video call. No, if you do, even if you are cool with the person, if I'm cool with you, I, I have to get some warning. You know, yeah, I don't know. yeah. And you can reject it now. Yeah. It's not really, if, when, even if we are cool. Yeah, but your audacity alone. Why would you just <laughs> video call me? Yeah, and think when that you enter, you can reject it but now. I mean, it's not. Uh, you're like, but your immediate family don't have to warn you. Even no, they, I don't. I wouldn't. I'm a very private person. My immediate family, please give me a warning. Call me first, and then we can switch to a video okay, call. Okay, my immediate family, yes, that's okay, okay. and. Um, for you to want a video call me, for a family member to want to video call me, um, I think it's urgent. Yeah. And it's, um, yeah, because oh. we don't video call each other. I mean, we've seen each other enough, so. <laughs> so, my point is, if the person, you feel it's a dusty, the person video calls once and you reject, second time, the person should have gotten a message. So, I don't think it's Some a problem. Some people don't get so, the message. They don't get the message. They just want to see all of this. <laughs> Who is this? See, yeah, yeah. see, that's what I'm saying. So you said you will have, you will have, you will have plans. Like, hey, I don't think for my friends, my friends, you do. my friends, like, yeah. that you are my friend and I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm your friend that you're not my so, friend. But I do, really, yeah, I do think it's a problem. problem. You reject it. If it's not, if it's not, you get the message. I don't message. think you reject, like, you know that we can swipe up yeah. and send the person a message like, what's up? Like, yeah, I, I do that when I don't understand why someone is calling me or video call. I don't even do it. Like, for now, like, for you, except the only the only um, case I'm going to attend to mm -hmm. is if it's a family member. Oh wow! Mm. Yes, if it's a family member and I see your missed call at you know those times, I would revert immediately. Mm -hmm. But if it is a random like a friend or uh, I'm like, but to be well, honest, these days I and my friends we like to talk. We talk better. We talk better on video call mm. because we kind of just like the duration of our conversations and there's kind of juice that you're giving everything. that you know what exactly. because yesterday happened my best friend we we're talking over the phone I'm like you know what let's talk on video because I want to see as you're giving me the gist I want to be seeing your, your life exactly would you let Mike call you on a video call yeah Mike calls Why me not? on video calls Ooh. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then you know there's times where but there's a like work emergency like uh, and, oh god work emergency send me send me <laughs> <laughs> Send me. But there was the <laughs> argument that, that what you said. Do, you said so me. now, I'm a, sorry, still talking about work. <laughs> I'm sorry about calls. When she said um, D and D, me, I, I, I take calls, or uh, maybe up until maybe, what time? Up until it depends on who, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I can yeah, still exactly. take a call but like past midnight, mm -hmm. depending really? on who is calling me. Yeah, if it's my friend if or I, family, I would feel like for you to call me at past midnight is emergency. But if even if it's yes. a number, maybe because of what I do, mm -hmm. I would feel like for you to be calling me at this time, there's probably a project exactly. we're starting and starting by 6 a.m. Exactly. And, it doesn't have to be and called, if, whereby, if I wake up like in the morning, 12, okay. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or even one, somebody calls you, especially if you're into the kind of industry we are in. Mm -hmm. yeah. People have, I mean, you have math module. I'll send you that, and you just call by one. Mm -hmm. Say, oh God, we need you by 5 a.m. Exactly. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So in that kind of situation, your, your phone is where, I mean, it's said about sugar, the production. I said, that's how you should call. Yeah, was it four or five hours this thing like, oh, God, call. Hey, guys, I'm there. yes, yes, I'm there. I'm right, very me. different because I don't think the past 10 years I've received a call anytime past 8 o'clock. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I'd rather text you the entire conversation. I, I wouldn't want to take a call past that time because I believe it's family time. So okay. if it's, yeah, right. if, it's, if I'm I calling, if it's so, a married so, person so. I'm calling, I'm, I want to call, I'll send a message. This is a good time. Talk. Exactly. But I want to be calling yeah. you by. I want to call you by 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Yeah. to check. Yeah. But I want to give I you. I can't wait exactly. Tomorrow. But if, like I, if I'm a nice guy, walk. I want to give you a job. Ah. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me I should send you a message. But there are many other people to call. If you're <laughs> I want to hear you look. I mean, probably if I want to yeah, respond, I'm not sure the message respond. you want. You just reminded me of a time if when it's an emergency. And some, well, let's say some you've been looking. I, I know you must know. I've been running things. Like, like, no, it's okay. If you receive that call, I'll message you. I lost an opportunity like so once is what I'm trying to say. The guy uh, called me at about 9 o'clock telling me about an opportunity in the next day. And I'm like, sorry, this is not the... He was so offended. Yes, he will be. I will be. And I'm like, no, seriously, this is just a principle. It's a rule. Because if I get that job now and then you, you'll not be calling me at 12, 12 midnight when I'm with Mike. Let's uh, not talk about this. Uh, wow. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> shocked. Please. <laughs> okay. All right. Let us know if you, um, the best time for you to be called. Oh, Are yeah. you like Mazino? That you would drop a job? I don't know. That girl, don't, no compromise. By the way, it's up on our social media pages. Yes. So you want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Comment on that. And then we get to read it while we're doing our social media. Uh, let's do a break. Everybody's welcome to the kitchen, people. I have with me Chef Toluwani. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. And today we're going to England for an English breakfast. Yes, we In are. It. <laughs> okay, so we're having English breakfast today. Let me give you one more juice. That's how my kids are. What are we making here? There's no food. I think he's a village guy. He has never gone to the abroad. So let's help him with abroad breakfast this morning. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly run through. What we have, um, yeah. let's start from here. We have fruits. Yeah. Um, we have um, this is avocado, um, pea, 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 sorry, and kiwi. Yes. So, well, wait, the English professor I know. Yeah. Share this is the side. 
Yes, because I, it takes a whole lot for an English breakfast. Okay. To be so, yes. Okay, so let's keep up. We One have of sausage, is fruits, yeah. um, bacon, is this milk? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, and sugar, baked beans, yes. eggs, green, red, yellow bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, spring onions. What's this here? Chocolate, white chocolate. Ooh, okay. And then this is butter. butter. That's, that's cake. Cake, okay. Yes. And this flour? Yes, flour. And yes. that's milk. milk. Also, we have um, yeah, liquid, liquid milk, milk and yeah, powdered, powdered milk. So what, 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 what are we using them for? Okay, the powdered, we're using it for the waffles, part of the um, recipe Okay, that's why we have this for our waffles. Yes, okay. the waffle maker. Maker. Okay, we have then eggs. What do we have here? Yeah, this is just um, another type of chocolate, but uh, okay. it's more for garnish. Okay, and then that's what? Um, vanilla essence. That's okay. like a flavor. Flavor for the waffle. Yes. And okay, so why do we have butter? Okay, yes, fire? I have to melt the butter. Okay. I can actually do that in the microwave. Okay. So, but this is another method of melting, melting. my butter. Okay. I need it melted in my waffles because it's going to clog if it's not melted. Okay. So now, um, so while that is melting, what are we going to start with? Okay, yeah, so we'll start with um, making our waffles, basically. Okay. And um, what I'll do is start with the measurement. Of course, you okay. need your measuring um, cups. Okay. Actually, so, yeah. Okay, so now, while we're going to use the measuring cups to measure, let's quickly take a look at the menu, because for people like us that want to learn how to make waffles, waffles. we have egg, salt, milk, flour, sugar, butter, baking powder, and vanilla essence. Yeah. You might want to scribble that down okay. in case you want to try this later. So measuring cups are very important for... Of course. You need to take the right measurement. Else okay. you might end up with a soggy waffles okay. or cracky waffles. Okay. And if you don't want that... that of course, we don't. Yeah. So this is going to give us like how many waffles now? Mm, actually, the number of waffles is depending on the... Sense of it size of your waffle maker. Okay. So like this is going to give me about three um, of this. Okay. M my own size of okay, the so waffle that's maker. One, I think two, three. No, like this is whole, this okay, three. three. Oh, yes. that's a lot. Okay. Okay. And it's just a couple one of this. Cup. So, yes. Okay. So after we do one cup of flour, what do we, what we put in next? My um, milk. Milk. Okay, so do? this milk, what I like to do with it is mm -hmm. to... Um, turn it into liquid, I like to add water because um, there is this recipe I'm supposed to use, they call it um, buttermilk. Okay. So this actually says in a uh, superstore, but because of, it's very difficult to get buttermilk here in most of the stores in Nigeria, so I like to, this is where you can actually create your Create your buttermilk. Okay, yes, so basically, we're yes, we're okay. creating hers. And what I'll do is, I'll take some of this, add it to it, and then I'll put in some lemon juice. Oh, what okay. you have to do that is that um, some of the meat starts to together. Okay. Okay, so I'll just do that right now. Okay. I'll take some water. Um, yeah. For this um, one cup of this, I need about half cup of water. Okay. But of course, you can really adjust um, over time. So you get your side. Okay. So we just boil milk. We, we can't. Yeah, you can use this liquid milk. No, we can't. But okay. we do not have the same consistency. Okay. So guys, you heard it. Don't or don't replace buttermilk for liquid milk. If you want to learn how to choose your own, you can just do this. Let's see. We can see this. Get this milk. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm super interested in this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Squeeze some. Little more. Yeah. So just a little lemon, not so much. No, not so much. Okay. Yeah. Then you can just stir a little, and you manage just a little. And then you place it here, just leave it for a while. So, so how long? No, it doesn't. Just right for you to finish up whatever you're doing. Okay. Okay. Part of the recipe is the baking. Yeah. Powder. Okay. Which is that's just yeah. not so much not baking so much. powder. Okay. Because well, so, it's not okay, pancake. Why we con oh, because it's not pancake, we put little baking powder. Yeah, fantastic. Pancake. We're going to go on a break. When okay. we come back, Wake Up Nigeria continues. You don't want to go anywhere. I'm sure you want to see how this progresses. We'll be right back. Well, alrighty then. Welcome back. And today, our guest for this morning is Makinde Adenura, FTA, an award-winning dramatist who has practiced theater almost everywhere that you can think of in the world. He is also a chairman, National Association of Nigerian Theater Arts Practitioners, and it's so good to have you here with us, sir. Yeah. Nice to have you. And what a head of Thank hair you. you have on there. 
Thank you. I hope mine gets to be that full <laughs> and that color. Uh -huh. Well, it's good to Thank have you, you here. Thank now, you. you are a thespian, you're a director, um, you're all about theater. Yeah. Um, but first of all, we mentioned a little title at the end of your name. What yeah, does yeah. it mean of FTA? What does FTA that mean? FTA is a Fellow of Theater Arts. Fellow of Theater Arts. Yes, that's the highest honor okay. for the association now, NANTA. Okay. That's the highest honor. You Nan must Nantap, that's the National Association of Nigerian, Nigerian Theatre Theater as Practitioner, as practitioner. of okay. which I'm the chairman N for the Oh, United okay, States. great, yes. nice. Yes. How long have you been doing theatre? Let's start with that first off. Ah, well, going to my 35 years. 35 years. Yes. Here in Nigeria and everywhere else. Everywhere, yep. I have two questions. First off, what has it been like uh, the, in Nigeria? How has it you know, um, panned through the decades in Nigeria, and how can you compare that with what it's like outside of Nigeria? Well, it, it has been struggling mm. all the years. It's been struggling, and the struggling is as uh, a result of the education of it, mm. one, the practice of it, the policy of it, and uh, the governance of it generally. And this has to do with both the practitioners, right, the educators, and the government. Mm. So it's been struggling over the years. I mean, minus COVID. Mm. COVID is a leveler. Okay. Has leveled all kinds Very of good. economies across the world. Yeah. But aside that, theater, arts generally, has been struggling. Even mm. Nollywood that is uh, uh, seen to be, whoa, the bride, yeah. Yeah, is equally struggling. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you don't need to tell mm. me about that. That's mm. actually quite obvious, especially in the times that we find ourselves. Um, but now, if we now impute that into the grand scheme of things for theater. Where do you see it going with everything that we're going through, how we're adapting a new normal and all of that in, with this present pandemic? It is a reality that we can't do away with. An average Nigerian is a creative person uh -huh. and they are always looking for where to, to practice that. So uh, it, it's, it's coming on fine. There's, a, there's this swell, mm -hmm. you know, that it's coming on fine because we are gradually shaping into it. All of the things I mentioned earlier about the governance, the education, it's improving. Whether the government is responding to it mm. or not, because it, it, it's almost like tradition now. We know. You study it as a course in mm -hmm. school, you get out. Some, they look for other way to, yeah. to earn salary. And, mm -hmm. uh, but there are people, some chunk, 20% of those who left the university after study, they are still practicing. Mm. And that is, the, that is the group of people that you see in Nollywood. Yeah. They, without anything, without any kind of support from anywhere, because it, at some point it became a tradition for them. They yearned the passion. They left from school. They wanted to do something. So Nollywood came out yeah. of that. The same thing is with theater. It's not as if, apart from Jaws and in those days, there was nowhere in, in Nigeria where you find film school. So almost all of us, the, the first, this thing, 70% of us mm. who are big guys in Hollywood and all of that, first and foremost, they study theater arts. Theater arts, wow, interesting. Now, it's a very interesting medium because if you go back in history, 17th, 18th century, mm. theater was the one medium where you could actually amass a group of people and then mm. send forth uh, some kind of information, whatever it was, whether political or social or, or, mm. or so. So in Nigeria here, you could say that it was so in, in the uh, earlier times of theater at all. Is that the same currently? And, and does the government still use it as a tool for disseminating information like they used to when I was a kid? Because mm. I remember going to the National Theater mm. and somewhere in there you get pieces of information that they want to pass across. Mm. Is that still a thing? I think it, it all has to do... I, I cannot say is the same because mm. people in government, policy execution and all of that, they have different changes over the time. But one thing I can tell you is that the practitioner, the amount of practitioners involved now, the amount of enthusiasm involved now, right, it's more mm -hmm. than in those days. In those days, they were little, you know, there was precise, you, you can almost tell, mm. yeah. Now that we have people graduating from university, one universities across Nigeria coming out, to pra and 20% practicing, obviously we have more people, yeah. it's swelling. But one thing that has not been the same again is the policy execution of all of these things. Mm -hmm. Are we in government, are we recognizing that that in itself 
apart from all social relevant, is in itself has ability for commercial purposes. Mm. Now, so th those policies are not helping in any way to break it down or for it to become an important aspect of our interest. Interest. So that one is where we are falling. Now, as the chairman of the National Associ Association of Nigerian Theatre Arts Practitioners, let me ask you this question about the current state of infrastructure when it comes to theatre in Nigeria. Growing up in the early 80s, <laughs> yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> um, it was a beautiful thing to, to hear that your parents are taking you to the National Theatre. But these days, these infrastructure are pretty much no longer being taken care of that much. I remember two weeks ago I was at the National Theatre and I had this big slap of nostalgia mm -hmm. of the plenty of dramas and series that I had seen there from over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But now I don't know if our kids would have that same feeling. What do you think about the state of infrastructure for theatre in it's, Nigeria? It's poor. Poor, but a lot. It, it was what I was attempting to say the other time about policy because policy is what eventually becomes money. It's what eventually aid social living, uh, living of every uh, country. Presently, it's poor. Mm. Very it poor. Should, it should gain, it should help the government actually get some money. I mean, it, it should remit into the coffers of the government. So if that's a means of getting uh, uh, earnings, why isn't it being attended to like it should? Because uh, we have people, likely we have people in government who does not even understand uh. the trade. And uh, they are not opening up in any way to say they don't understand and get people who can help them. At the most, if they want to get people right, they get the ones who are hypocrites amongst mm. us. So at the end of the day, you find them running around the circle. Nothing is being done. You hear this today, you hear that tomorrow. Yeah? At the end of the day, it's all about papers. Nothing comes up. Mm. Until we get to that point and we collectively both from the practitioner's point of view and from the government point of view, that as long as we have product, as long as you have people, children going to the university to study this thing, it, there must be a life in it. Mm. And we study it, we make research, and we begin from there, we pull out all kinds of things, the commercial angle, the social angle, and make benefit for the country. Until we do that, mm. and sincerely too, because we have a whole lot of them that will come around, uh, be it governor, be it uh, 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 commissioner and all of that. They say all kinds of things. We sit in all kinds of committee and then papers come out, but there's no point to execution. Uh, so we all need that understanding. I'm not, yeah. I'm not in any way sitting here and trying to heap all the blames on government. No. Mm -hmm. Government only operates, right, when the sector is in itself fine. Yeah. I'm even putting the blame on those of us who are practicing. But things are moving. Okay. It's a gradual thing. I know okay. it will roll over. Definitely. Unfortunately, right, we are not running All at right. the speed that we are supposed to be running. Well, Mr. But it McKinley, will come, it will thank come you around. very much. It's actually an honor to have you sitting down here. Such Thanks. wealth of knowledge and profession that we have here sitting on our couch with us today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, we're looking forward to, well, this becoming what it, the, the beauty that it used to be. Mm -hmm. And, of course, with you in uh, places that you need to be at, mm -hmm. we are sure that, that's, that we're going to get there. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we thank look forward you. to plenty of your works in future. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, Soon. thank you very much for joining us for this segment. We still have more coming your way this morning. Of course, we're not done yet inside the kitchen. In fact, we only just got started. Talk about what's happening in there, please. Mazino, we are in England at the moment. I'm sure you're not joining me anytime soon, but I will talk to the British Council to, to work on sending you a visa. So, yes, I have Chef Toluani with me, and we are preparing an English breakfast. So far, we've made our very first waffle. Well, I call it a waffle set. Yeah. Because you, you're going to yeah. still cut it out. Oh, yeah, so we made our first waffle set. And I thought I had to be kind enough to wait before she does the next set so we could watch. If you're just tuning in, you might, you, you might have to catch up on our YouTube channel for the whole beginning process. So, Tuluani, let's go. Yeah. So, next up. So, um, next thing is, okay, why, you turn off the, your, why you turn off your waffle maker? Yeah. You bought it. Help. Okay. Um, it's going to stick to the... Yeah, sticks. I figured. So. Okay. Then, you're done. Point your, your butter. Butter, yeah. You can use your scoop or anything to make sure that it goes all up. Else, by the time you cover it up, it might just scoop out and you don't. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. So it has to be thick. Yes. All like pancakes. Some people exactly. like um, light pancakes. Exactly. This has to be it. Cup butter. Yeah. So one thing I want to try is there is this chocolate flavor okay. that I want to 
cookies. Ooh, look at these chocolate waffles. Ooh. Okay. So we'll give... try this out and see what Have comes out. Yeah. Okay. I didn't add this to, to the, the first, first one. one. Yeah. Okay. So you put at the top as well. As well, okay. okay. Not so much butter. Can you close it? Up. Close it. Know that, please note that your waffle maker okay. has been preheated. Okay. So, okay, so it should be hot before you yes, put it. Yes, it should be hot. Oh, okay. Put else it becomes sticky. Your butter might stick and. By the time your waffle maker starts ticking, yeah. then you know so that you're already spoiling and be, get ready to get another one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, for the benefits of people who are just joining us, let's quickly run through the menu so you could scribble it down if you want to prepare waffles at home. We have egg salt milk flour, sugar, butter, baking powder, vanilla essence. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you might want to take that uh, down. Waffle Waffle recipe. Waffle, yes, our waffle, our waffle recipe. Okay. Yeah, we're making other things like omelette. Yeah, now we're cutting our green, red, and yellow bell peppers for the omelette. So you definitely want to stick around because now you've seen how the waffle turns out, but you haven't seen how the omelette is going to come out. So we're going to go and we're going to come back. So much more is happening. Wake up, Nigeria. Do not go anywhere. Well, yes, it's round two of the second half of the most important time on breakfast television. Talk I, I, you know, I can't believe it's an hour gone already. And what's the second hour on the show? Means I'm going to go. So I don't want to go. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, but already we know what's happening. And it's definitely going good. Right, 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 right? It's, it's going great. <laughs> now, that's right. We um, are going to move along with the uh, flow of things now and make uh, feasible plans for the year. Yeah. Now, trust us to always come really uh, bearing positivity all the time great messages that will outshine the depressing news of everything that's going on here or even in the America. Yes, that's it. Now, that is our job to bring you joy and laughter as you start out your day. Right now, it is salient to maintain a positive and hopeful attitude as the year unfolds. That's why you have to stay tuned. We still have so much more coming in the next 45 minutes. It promises to be the best 45 minutes of your morning. Oh, Trust yes. me, I said it. 45 minutes of goodness with these guys here, myself, Tokbear, MM, and of course Mike. It's kind of hard not to feel good. I mean, this atmosphere is like uh, very infectious and we hope that you're catching what we're giving. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Mazino Appeal. And I am Tokwe Oloni. Now remember, you can stream the show live if you're on the move, if you're leaving the house, the office, wherever you are, you can stream the show live at tvccommunications.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. In fact, watch us live on Facebook as well because we're taking comments from there. Mm -hmm. And be a part of our online community by sending us a message using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. Um, and uh, do remember now, we're going to be talking about your comments when it comes to social media time. So if you've got something on there we are going to be reading out yeah and if you haven't dropped any comments you need to hurry and go tweet in and remember to use the hashtag wake up nigeria tv so let us know when is it too early or too late for you to receive a phone oh. call yes phone etiquette now but let's quickly move on to the highlights for the next 45 minutes we have art display we will be having an exhibition of collection of artworks from the very talented amu acha actually kid you're good it's all right you're good. <laughs> Oh wow, that is creative. And still joining us for book chat is Imetu Chukwebuka, aka Cosmic McDuffis. What a name, I like it. The CEO <laughs> of McVersity Group, avid philanthropist, and the CEO of our, um, the writer of our book today, Book of the Week, Get Pregnant Before Marriage, a mm. book that intends to put real meaning to a real pregnancy. Oh, yes, plenty of us to go around this morning. We still got one hour of that, so we're willing to share. Our goodness is what I'm talking about. Oh, what else? But just, sometimes I just don't know where you get these things from. There's plenty of us to go around. <laughs> <laughs> to go around who? And then, did you see her, what do you call it again? It's a monologue. A monologue on social media yesterday. No, I didn't it catch It was up fantastic. There. And I was wondering whether you're the only one who sits in that room and does all those kinds of What's things. What's the monologue about? She um, had... It was it's a conversation between a lady and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So it, the conversation starts from when he asks her to get him to marry, marry, her, to marry, marry him. him yeah. And he said, and what gets her is because he says, I want to marry you because you're perfect. So she's like, how do you, how can you call me perfect? perfect. And she says, see my scars. And there are really no scars there. But she's telling him as much as he thinks she's perfect. Um, she was raped by her uncle when she was 14. Her mom took her to get an abortion. 
and um, the abortion didn't go well and she lost her womb at 14 so she she's never thought about marriage because um, she doesn't have a womb to carry a child so she's like now that mm. you know this do you still want to marry me and that was the part and, that got me and then he her reaction shows you that he probably made a face and then she looks away and she's like I thought so too I mean would you want to marry someone you know is not going to be able to give you children See how she talks about it like as if it's a, it's a it's a real story and it's just her in a room yeah but the truth is there are lots of young girls who are reliving that experience mm. so um, i actually? would i would actually go on to your instagram yes yeah, and then i'll yeah. look i'll look for it yeah. looks so, but, like an but, interesting but, one but, but it, it, it's it's a conundrum i'm meaningful face sorry would you marry someone who can who but you know what? It's, it's, it's the irony of it all is we are living in an era where there are a lot of young ladies mm. who do not want to have children, mm. and it is fine. Mm. Yeah, it is. It actually it's, is it's fine. It's yeah. okay. You know, it, 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 so I really do not get it when women, you know, or people actually, you know, try to bring them. Like, why would you not want? Why would you not want to have children? But must you have children? What if you don't want you, to? I wish you had time. Places, but we, yeah. we, we, we have to go and take the weather. And uh, probably some other time we'll talk about this. Welcome back. And let's take the news for the second hour. And we start the news with security matters in Edo State, where one of the prisoners who escaped from a White House prison yard in the aftermath of last year's NSARS protest has been arrested in Ogun State. Ogwehi Frank Ogwe was arrested following an information received by policemen at Agbado Divisional Headquarters that a middle-aged man was seen at Angulis area of Agbado and that his look and conduct is suspicious, hence his arrest. Now, he also confessed to detectives that he was an inmate of a White House prison in Edo State and that he was set free by hoodlums who attacked the prison yard. The Commissioner of Police in Ogun State, Edward Adjogun, has, however, directed that the suspect be transferred to the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department for further profiling. We move now to Ondo State, where unknown gunmen have kidnapped a couple at Uso community in our local government area of Ondo State. Now, the couple who were traveling along the route were stopped and abducted by, th by the gunmen, are suspected to be kidnappers. The couple were traveling with their three children when the hoodlums stopped them and whisked the couple away, leaving their children behind. Spokesperson of the State Police Command, Mr. T. Leo Ikoro, said men from the State Police Command uh, had been come in the area to ensure the release of the couple. He confirmed that the couple were abducted on Tuesday while their abductees uh, left their children behind. Those were images from the United States where thousands of protesters have breached America's Capitol building, forcing the Congress to break the affirmation of the November presidential election results. Congressmen and women were seen evacuated from the building after thongs of protesters pushed past the police barricade to gain entrance into the building where a debate on the disputed state of Arizona elections began moments earlier. As the crowd grew outside, tensions across the country went with it. Now, Mayor of Washington, D.C., Muriel Bowser, was, uh, has imposed a citywide curfew from 6 p.m., saying no one will be allowed outside the city. Security operators are having a tough time containing what is becoming a huge concern. Reports of shooting and smashing of windows have been recorded, but uh, we couldn't uh, uh, confirm at the moment of this report if there were any casualties or serious injuries. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump had decreed his loss, or rather described his loss of the election as a function of electoral fraud and vote manipulation. He blamed Vice President Mike Pence for refusing to do his bidding uh, by rejecting the victory of Joe Biden in the poll. The latest tweet from Minister, or rather Mr. Trump, did not criticize the protest, but urged protesters to remain peaceful. Uh, yesterday's affirmation of the election, which uh, has been disrupted by the protest, was Mr. Trump's last chance of forcing a cancellation of the exercise that brought in Democrat Joe Biden as president-elect. Coming days will be crucial in determining what the next, or what next before the inauguration of a new president in two weeks' time. Very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where 
such a thing happened where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election. But we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel. And that's it on the news. But we've got Mike standing by with sports. Artsy Tosti, like Lizzie Bebe calls it. Right? So let's get straight to it. We've got Frank in the house. He's a visual artist. Uh, something I love about our artists is that they are professional, not just because they do it, but because they actually studied it in school. And uh, it's always quite interesting to talk to people like that. Hello, Frank. Good morning. How are you doing, man? Good morning. I'm very well. Okay, so uh, but you, you, yours has a little twist to it. It was fine arts and what? Was it fine arts you studied? Arts and design. Arts and design, design technology. technology. Now, that's the part I want to talk about, design technology. What exactly yes. do you mean by design technology? Well, when you talk about design, it has to do, it's, it's not just the art. It has to do with both the science. You know, you have a combination of the sciences and then the technology then. Hmm. So when you make it, when you're trying to make a design, you get all the elements of art and then you bring science in because you can't do any art without science. Where's the science in that, that art that, piece you are holding now? Let's talk about the science and the technology okay, in okay. that particular art piece. Tell me about it. This is a terracotta piece. Okay, can you take it a bit up so that people yes, can see it while this you is, are? This piece is called terracotta. Okay. So it's going to be fired. Okay. Now, this work in the process of firing, it is going to go through a process, a scientific process. It is. OK. Yes. Now so, I understand where you're yes. coming from. And then there are some chemical elements in this clay. Okay. And then the finished piece is going to be glazed. So the glaze on its own is a, is a, is a chemical mixture. That kicks, you know, you know understand. What, it, what so, it is. OK. So exactly. So you can't do any art without an element of science. Okay, now it has come home to yes. what's What's that piece you're calling? What, what's it called? It is called terracotta. Okay, terracotta, but does it have a um, unique name? Does this piece have a unique name? Okay, so you mean like the title? Yeah, of the, the title okay. of the piece. I titled this piece um, Down the Sea. Down the Sea. Yes, okay. Down the Sea. Down okay. the Sea, you know, uh, we just, we see a lot of things just and we look at a lot of things at the outer face. Okay. We don't look deep. This work is talking about, you know, it's an abstract sculpture. Okay. I just need this piece. It's not fired yet. Okay, so, not fired yes, yet. it's not fired. It's so the science is still, that one's yes, science. Yes, in the process. Of Art this. has done its own work. Yes. Okay, Art there's this piece beside me, which yes, okay. uh, is in our performance space. It looks like a performer on itself, yeah. you know, but uh, what materials do you use to put this that's piece together? That's fiberglass. Okay, that's fiberglass. Fiber glass, All right. Yeah. What's, what's the title of the piece? What's the, the piece about? The title is, um, okay, that's untitled. This, okay. the one here, the one down here. That's, okay, no, let, let's, get, let's talk about okay. the untitled one. We'll get to this okay. other one. That's so the untitled un one, what's, what's untitled. Untitled, right? Yeah. I but what is it, it? What exactly is it? I left it untitled because, you know, when you look at that piece, mm. there are a lot of things you can see. I went for an exhibition that was about two weeks ago, and I was just there. I met different people. I met with different people, and some people <laughs> see asked, the big lips. Some people said, "What is this piece talking about?" I asked them the same question. What do okay. you think? What can you see in that work? Okay. What can you see there? And a particular lady say, "I can see someone." Someone, maybe he read a novel and he's trying to reminisce on something he's That's trying to That's a book think. his hands yes, are over, yes, actually. Yes, it's, it's over a book. And another person came about around and say, I can see, if you look at that piece, the mm. open space there, you can see an abstracted Nigerian map mm. there. Only if you can see something like that there. Yeah, so, let's, let's go down yes. a little bit. Okay, so the work is just, I just mm. left it for the audience, for my audience, mm. to give an interpretation. I would, love, I would even love to know your opinion about this. You would love to know my opinion? Yeah, sure. At least he said the thing looks like me. I don't know how that <laughs> thing looks like me, but I would get if I... It's, it's actually quite deep. There's a lot that's going through my mind. I feel I, I'm thinking about simulation okay. of knowledge. Okay. That's one, because there's a book inside, and then his hands are over the book, mm. and then you can see his face upwards yeah. as though trying to relate with something higher yeah. than him. Yeah. So I would if I just give this a name. I would say assimilation. Thank you. you can know? you see prayer there, too? Oh, definitely. Can you see prayer? It looks like he's connecting with something higher than him. But before we Thank start you to, uh, going to my depth, you have to pay for your conversation. But let's talk about other pieces. Okay. Some 
of these ones in front of us here. Yeah. And um, is this fiberglass also? No, that's bond bonded wood. Bonded wood. Wood. Yeah. Oh, that that is wood. Okay, that's so let's talk about that piece. That looks like is that a Benin lady or something? Mm, that piece is an original work. It has a special place in my heart. In your heart. You want to sell it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sell well, it. You got, it's um, so special. You will sell it. You will sell it. Most definitely, if the, the right buyers come. If the right buyers come. Yeah, sure. Let's, so let's just see me. How much would such a piece go for? Um, let's give me an average. Based on the material I used. Based on it, the material? Yes. Okay. Because we, we it's sold based on the material. Okay. You know, the durability of the material. Of the material. Okay. Yes. And then the time the artist have put in put into it, eh? doing oh, okay. the job. So for me, that's um, at least four hundred thousand for that work. Four hundred k. Yeah. If it falls, hey, you don't go break. <laughs> Because you're talking about your ability. That oh, wonderful. Let's piece. talk about it. Let's, let's round up. Uh, let's just talk about this piece in the middle here. Yeah? That one that you have there. That's, that's an art, artwork. Okay. Looks quite beautiful. Okay. Let's, let's round okay. up Okay. I love to preach um, about two major themes in my works. The first is peace. I love to talk about peace okay. in my work. That, that, that piece there is titled um, Peace of Mind. Peace so, of Mind. Yeah. Hmm. So, I like that. You I know, like that. there are a lot of things going on right now mm. in the country, all over the world. There are a lot of things going on. So people are, people are sick of hearing bad news these days. Mm. You know, when, you, when you check out the news, you hear a lot going on yeah. just everywhere. So people are looking for what to calm them down, mm. what to calm them down. Mm. So there is a saying in my language, there is a saying, there is this saying that, okay, Okay, let me, let me, there, there's this saying, general saying. They say, someone that has peace of mind can sleep with um, his two eyes closed. Two eyes closed, I so, like that. So, we'll round you know, up with that. I you, wish we had more time to talk about okay. it. Uh, at the end, I love that one. That one looks like some of these ladies and your lashes. That final one there. You know, these ladies and your lashes. I'm thinking of a man with uh, lashes, lashes and Lizzie. The way that lady looks. I wish you could take a, take a bit of that. Look, look, let, let's take a look at that, that particular artwork. Just the final one. We're talking about it. That's Black Beauty. <laughs> that's what? Black Beauty. Black Beauty. Mm. No wonder. That's <laughs> the <Black> lashes. <laughs> is. Can you see? <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Frankie. It was great talking to you. Yeah. And uh, he is wishing you all the best. It's my pleasure. All right. So let's take a bit of your comments and what you put up on social media. Well, of course, welcome back. So we uh, would like to find out what it is you've been talking about on our post that we put up uh, since yesterday evening. In fact, we had a little gist on that one inside of Coffee Gist. And we put up this post, phone etiquette, never call before 9 or after 9 p.m. Um, a Nigerian's at 11 p.m. Hello, dear. I just got to check up on you. So we want to check out what your posts or your comments were. So let's check this out. I found a very interesting one, guys. And I'm going to need your um, comments on this one as well. Uh, talk by MM and Mike. So this is AB Blossom. AB Blossom says, don't call me at 5 a.m., but you can call me uh, for 11 p.m. Ask for permission before you video call me. Don't use LOL in our conversation. Use the right exclamation where necessary. That's something that I actually get very peeved off about, quite frankly. It's the little short forms. I'm not very, very comfortable with them. If I mean anything to you, I expect that you're going to spell it out. I don't know if it's the same with you guys. Is it? Mike? MM? Anybody? Yeah. There are a couple others here. Uh, let's check this one by um, MG Bilingbam. Bilingbam. He says, uh, people will just be getting, uh, setting up nonsense standards and pushing wrong narratives. If you don't want to receive call at any particular time, just be like MM. Switch off your phone. Uh, and don't and on it when you feel is the right time. Simple and short. Mm. Isaac Idota here says, I do not consider it right to dial anyone before 8 a.m. or past 10 p.m. Yeah, that's my kind of guy. Uh, I don't dial older okay. folks when it's sure, past sure 8 p.m. Now listen, guys. Exceptions are members of my family. Um, any call from my client before 10 p.m. must wait till the next morning as I'm not a doctor on call but a lawyer with the law. Nice, nice, interesting. Um, and this is Okiki Ola Paul says, don't ever, ever, ever hang up while I'm still talking, especially while I'm, uh, while I'm the one um, that called you up. Now there is that thing as well. <laughs> I don't know. Do you agree with, with, with him, Tokbe? What do you think? Yeah, well, this particular one, when, when you're talking about 
talking to someone and then they hang up. Like it's my airtime, it's not your own, don't worry. Don't Keep say up. don't say this for me. No, I just need I have money. <laughs> <laughs> don't have me doing a boy. Yeah, that but that typing hello and laugh out loud. Come on now. <laughs> Save me two seconds. What about like it? I know, right? I like it. Do you what? I know, right? It's um, your generation. You know, I've not been able to, you know, master those. There's um, KBK now. Um, what's what's KBK? KBK? Okay, then there's um, IK, okay, IKR is I know, right? LMAO. LMAO. Right. I'd rather use emojis. No, no, they don't use emojis. Use emojis. Thank you. I'd rather, rather use emojis. I'm like, what? Yeah, Sorry. use emojis. We're not in secondary school anymore. Welcome back. You're to Wake Up Nigeria. Of course, it's time for book chat. And joining me on the show this morning is Emetsu Chukwebuka, a.k.a. Cosmic McDuffis. He's the CEO of Macversity Group, a vid philanthropist, and the author of the book, Get Pregnant Before Marriage, a book that intends to put real meaning to a real pregnancy. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Quite an interesting title for a book <laughs> that has absolutely nothing that says about real life pregnancies. Pregnancy, yeah. Now, let's talk about your inspiration for the book, writing a book about women. What inspired that? Okay. Um, I remember when I was in um, primary school, Yeah. Um, I picked up a book, and that was um, Every Woman. I don't know if you know about Every, Every Woman. Every Woman, yes. Yeah. So when I read that book, um, it gave me a lot of inspiration on how amazing women can be. Okay. And uh, a whole lot of things about women. Okay. So I picked the interest in um, women because I believe that uh, women are not just uh, people who are meant to be in the kitchen. They are people who are meant to, you know, expand their horizon and, mm. you know, get to have more of value in order to give back to the society. Yeah, uh, and you mentioned many and more of that in this book. Exactly. All right. You used a lot of interesting innuendos, though. Yeah. When talking about, you know, how a woman should be pregnant with, you know, values Value that systems, precede skills. her, yeah. you know, as she goes on into, you know, becoming mm. a, f a woman, a full woman, exactly. you know, and thriving in a society. Exactly. Now, let's talk about um, you, t you um, the first chapter here, which talks about the woman and the world. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Okay, the woman and the world is, there is this view yeah. that um, people see women to be. Mm. And that view is mm. like, when you see a woman, yeah. all you look at, I, I can be a bit vulgar, mm -hmm. when you look at a woman, all you see is her boobs, her body shape. She's shapes, often objectified. Often, you know, both on magazines, mm. you see a woman, all you can think of is her body. Mm. And for me as a person, it's actually not that kind of view I see women to mm. be. When you look at organizations today, women are actually taking up Over, positions yeah. in human resource management, yeah. becoming CEOs, becoming top management, yeah. and all that. And for example, you look at, there's a company, um, Chimak Group, headed mm. by um, Somax Man Ijoma, and you see that the GMD of the global organization mm. is a woman. Mm. Now, why is it a woman? It's because women make everything to become a home. Mm. So when you give a woman something, she multiplies it. Yeah, we're natural homemakers. Natural. So yeah. it's something interesting for people to know out there. And that's why I said the woman and the world. I like your interesting take on Mary, which you used as a case study exactly. here. And then there were a few things you highlighted, which, mm -hmm. I mean, one reading this book would never have seen it from your own perspective. Thank you. So enlighten us more on it. Now, you see, Mary is somebody we all know. Yes. From the Bible, mm. as a Christian, I'm a Christian. And um, Mary showed utmost virtue mm. uh, when it comes to womanhood. Mm. And she is someone that sets her standards that this is something I am. Knowing herself more mm. means that you are free. Because when you know yourself more, you become free. Because sometimes we look at, we, we look at nothing where there is something. Yes. And we look at something where there, where is, there nothing. is nothing. Mm -hmm. And it makes us not to actually understand where we are heading to. But when a woman understands the life pattern of Mary in mm -hmm. the Bible, mm -hmm. she sets her standard. And you know the interesting part? Um, 
a man cannot just approach you and say nonsense to you. Mm. Because he has already seen that this person has value, mm. skills, and other things. There will be this kind of fear that will actually, you know, before a man can come to you, that will grip you before you can meet that kind of lady. So it's actually what you allow the world to see that attracts. So if you're a woman and you want everybody to see your body, it means that you'll be attracting the kind of men that will be, you know, wanting your body. So that says a lot about how a woman should be should dress. Exactly. Oh, fantastic intake on that one. All right, so now you actually debunked a lot of myths in this book about women mm. embracing power, mm -hmm. women who have been in power over the years and women who are actually in power and things that are expected of them. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, I believe that uh, women are more. Mm. And women should be able to, you know, have that sense of power. Mm. And when I say power, it's not that, you know, you taking over the, the dominance of men. Mm. Like the way we see feminism, all this feminist, feminist. That's not it. When you talk about power, it's about value system. When you look at your home, people like uh, Okonji Wala, she still have a home and she's still global. Mm. So these are the kind of power every woman should look at not being, you know, subjecting yourself that you cannot be able to achieve more mm. than who you are. So that's what I see as power. Yeah, I also noted that you used your PA mm -hmm. as, you know, um, an example when talking about respect, exactly. how women should respect themselves and, you know, they would also be respected. Exactly. Back. But in this society, it's not the case in many cases. Of course, that's the problem. And it's time we begin to actually enlighten people mm. that women should not just be treated anyhow. Yeah. They should be given that respect. Okay. Because when you give a woman respect, you, 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 you experience amazing, you know, there's this, um, <laughs> there's this amazing uh, nature of a woman. Yeah. So if you give her the respect, she gives you also one of the best in her. So oh, right. that's a woman. So I, this is my PA. I did um, a philanthropist um, when I gave out 10 sewing machines to people in oh, Makoko. Okay. So she was there. Okay. She helped in everything that we did mm. in order to actually, you know, push out uh, the, the information to people. She was the one that went and bought 400 pieces of mosquito oh, net wow. that we gave out. Wow. I would just, you know... That is the essence of a woman. Mm -hmm. When you have a woman that understands her work, you don't have to worry yourself. You just go and sleep. She will do the whole thing for you. All right. You had an interesting message here for young ladies mm -hmm. who, you know, um, there, there is just a lot of notion around them. So quickly, what message do you have for young girls? I actually just want to let the young ladies out there to know that what you want to be, mm. you can actually become it. Yeah. Don't be afraid of what the society says mm. about you as a woman. Yeah. But you can also show the world that you are better off mm. than what the world is actually seeing of you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Emitsu Cosmic. Interesting book, I must say. Thank and you. a lot of young girls will, of course, learn a lot Thank from you. this book. Thank it preaches so values much. and it's an interesting read. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, so after you know giving so much we are going to replenish it so um we have something for you in the kitchen do Whoa. you mind Whoa, i actually would love that all right great so let's go <laughs> okay okay after you please okay thank you hey How's guys thank you have a seat. Oh. welcome yeah, to the kitchen thank, thank you. you so we have chef <sighs> Tegumani here who prepared an english breakfast for you oh. to kick start mm. your day and we have here English breakfast with fruits and cappuccino. I hope you're ready. Wow. I so much pet. Yeah, I actually removed some things from the table. Let me see. Fantastic. So I'm just going to quickly run us through yeah. how this yes, came to be. I'm very sad by the way. Because sure it looks so beautiful. I wish I was the one who was having it. But <laughs> unfortunately, we have to reserve it for our guests all the time. Uh, just eat small. I mean, totally it's just small. Just small. So that we can. Are you sure? I mean, it's, it's such a beautiful thing. <laughs> have a taste. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So that's the cake, right? This yes. cake? Yes. yes. Mm. You might want to taste what she actually prepared. <laughs> wow. So that's the omelette, sausage wrapped with bacon. Yes, this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is that finished? 
Let me be my own folk. Don't say that. Don't say that. So, um, I like your book. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Chef, nice job. I'm going to come in. I like my job. Please, it's all yours. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. I mean, that's what I was talking about. I love tomatoes. This kind of thing. This is what you. something I do with tomatoes, yeah. How did you achieve that? I seasoned with um, salt, black pepper, and oregano. Mm. Oregano, you see, so oh, really oregano. tomatoes. There was effort put into it. Mm. And then what did you what did you put around the waffle? White chocolate. I white drizzled chocolate. white chocolate and mm. cereal mm. on it. Okay. Hey, so for people who are watching, who want to contact you for this, how can they reach you on social media? Um, my um, Instagram handle is chef underscore t underscore underscore. If you want to know what's way. going on here, you want to have a taste. Yes, you definitely want to reach out. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very Mr. much. Mr. McDuffie's. Thank you very much. And thank you to everybody out there yes. for also participating on the show on social media. We love that you guys take out the time every single day to make sure that your entries are read on here. And we won't stop. So it's a Friday edition. We're done. But and in Titi's voice, it's game day. Come tomorrow. <laughs> Mike. So make sure you bye, join us. Mike. Mike, bye. hey, hey, where's Mike? Mike. Tell us bye now. <laughs> <laughs> this place. Mike, this food. Tomorrow, she tastes this food. See man. you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Same time. Bye. bye. bye.